Ethan and Alexa, you're here because you love each other. This is one of the most joyous and significant days in your lives. You have had the excitement of dating, falling in love, now the day that you've planned for, replanned for, and replanned for again, is upon us. The, dream, the day that you've dreamed about and worked towards has finally arrived, your wedding day. One of the most beautiful expressions of love ever penned came from the lips of Ruth when she said, Don't urge me to leave you to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if even death separates you and me. These words are from Ruth to her mother-in-law, yet they represent and express the kind of love and togetherness that ought to characterize marriage. Take a deep breath. I love you guys. It's gonna be okay. He is here with us and he will be with us the rest of the time. And so let's just pray. Heavenly Father, uh, you are a great and awesome God. These are two wonderful people that you have brought together. And I can't even be pleased, uh, more pleased to be involved in this and part of this. And you are gonna do great things through them and with them. We just ask that you calm their nerves, let them take deep breaths and let them know that it's gonna be okay. Uh, even if things mess up, chances are we'll be the only ones to know about it. And so just uh, remain calm, calm their nerves, and remind them this is not about flowers or anybody else, but it's about this love that you two share for each other. We love you, and we thank you for everything you've done. We ask all these things in the precious and holy name of Jesus. This has been a long time coming. Long gone are the days of old flippy hair, sitting in dark hallways at church playing hide and seek. Those days are long past us, and now it's been amazing watching you two not only grow up, but grow up alongside each other. Lexi, you look amazing tonight, doesn't she, folks? She looks great. And I wrote the speech beforehand, and I was hoping I didn't cry, but I did cry. So uh, it took every ounce of strength in my body to not bawl my eyes out when I saw you walking down those stairs. I promised myself I wouldn't cry, but I think uh, I, I, that, that was ruined really quickly. Uh, I might have teared up a little bit. I'm so happy for you guys, and I'm so glad that I get to legally call you my sister now. Once again, thank you guys for coming out to share this lovely night with, uh, with these two. And I would like to propose a toast. I don't have a drink, but I'll propose a toast to Ethan and Lexi. May God bless you with many long years of marriage. This joining together, this mutual submission, and this lifelong walk will be symbolized by the tying together a cord of three strands. Solomon, one of the wisest men in the Bible, says two are better than one because they have a, gro a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. 
Each of you are represented by a braid of rope. Before today, you were separate and living your own lives. But today, there is a third cord that comes up. This is God. And God is that, that third cord that will be throughout your lives. And Ethan and Lexi are acknowledging that God will be an integral part of their lives and marriage. Today, Ethan and Lexi will be woven together by God as one. Ethan, and taking Lexi by the hand to be your lawfully wedded wife before God and the witnesses present, you are vowing to love, honor, cherish her, and stay by her side in sickness and in health, leaving all others cleaving to her and vowing to her to be a true and faithful husband as long as you both shall live. Do you so promise? I do. And Lexi, and taking Ethan by the hand to be your lawfully wedded husband before God and the witnesses present, you are vowing to love, honor, cherish him, and stay by his side in sickness and in health, leaving all others cleaving to him, vowing to be him a true and faithful wife, so long as you both shall live. Do you so promise? I do. And by the authority of the state vested in me as a minister of the gospel, I declare that they are husband and wife. And Jesus said, therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. Ethan, you may kiss your bride. It is my pleasure to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Ethan and Lexi Fletcher. ago I was Lexi's one and only favorite little sister but now she has five total so <laughs> I've been waiting for this wedding since the day Lexi and Ethan met many 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 years ago I couldn't have picked a better husband for my favorite person in the entire world Ethan has been there for Lexi through some of the toughest challenges she has faced and I cannot thank you enough for never leaving her side I'm forever grateful that Lexi has someone so amazing in her life to love and care for her. You both as a couple have inspired me so much and are living proof of true love. I love you both so much. Congratulations. Then we started walking the streets And then we stopped for a while And you said you wanna kiss me I remember thinking Is this really happening? Happening, happening